Darren, did you get the response you were hoping for from your players in training this week? I think when you're off of the back of a defeat like that, um, you're always looking for bounce back ability. I think uh, so. I'll be looking for that on Saturday. Um, there's a lot of positives. Uh, we've gone through a, a lot of detail as far as what we need to work on, and uh, I think the most important thing is to to stay positive. Um, that's the main thing. Yeah. Are you beginning to get concerned with the league position in the table, eight points above the relegation, or? Um, when do you start to become concerned about the table? I think what we have to do is, or people react a bit different of over a defeat like that. You look at uh, the lower half of the, of the Premier League teams when they play Man City. Um, how would you deal with the next week? Um, some could be a team like Sunderland, for example. And I just felt there was a there was a, a difference in, in quality on Saturday there. Some of our players tried to, to live up to, it wasn't a lack of effort, but you could see that they had one or two players that were very gifted. Um, they've done very well to, to get them players playing at this level and uh, they were very effective. Yeah, the goals haven't been flown in the last few games. Is that something that concerns you or do you feel as soon as one goes in it could open the doors? I feel as a, as a manager, certainly of late, everything seems to be a concern. I mean, you, you go away to Notts County and you don't play well. Um, and you know it's up to me to make sure that I remain positive. And the way I've done that, I've tried to analyse the last three years. And uh, as it stands at the moment, we've got the highest amount of goal scorers in the club within the last three years. Um, we've paid the least amount of money. We've got the least amount of players, 24, 25 players, and um, we've got a highest league position. Now, that's me being honest as to where we are right now. And uh, all I can do is, is, is support the group and uh, make sure you know, we keep believing because we are better off, as I said, in the last three years in many departments. It's sometimes it, it's un, you know, supporters want to see goals and they want to see football matches. But I've highlighted where we need to strengthen next year. And uh, we've looked at the last three years of the players we've brought in to the football club um, as to where they are now and uh, it's quite interesting and uh, what we have got at the moment we've got the, the highest amount of goal scorers. My job now is I need support to make sure we keep them and we build on that for next year. Yeah, Morecambe are next up, what are you expecting from them? They've had problems and uh, again they've, uh, they've stuck together. Uh, Jim Bentley works very hard behind the scenes. Uh, he hasn't got massive resources and uh, they're a team that work hard for each other. They're honest and uh, they've got one or two players. Or, I mean, Michael Rose, he'll be out, but he's, he's played a massive contribution to their season this year. And they've got one or two, two younger players that uh, were almost targets for us. So I would say they're, you know, they've done very well and we know it's going to be a difficult game very difficult. I think every game's difficult now, and uh, you know we got to make sure that we pick up three points. Yeah, they've sort of come into a bit of form. In February, I think they only lost once, didn't they? So, is, is that you know? I guess you always assess the form of your opponents, but is, is that something that you can playing take into account when you're playing against a team that's in a bit of form? I just think every game uh, at League Two level now, you try and make sure that you get as close as what you can uh, to making sure it's winnable. I think we've only had, I would say, two, Doncaster and Luton, uh, where it's not been close. And so uh, we have to make sure that we, we've, we've done the right things this week and uh, we're all sticking together going into this game. Yeah, it was 1-0 on the, the start of the season here, wasn't it, in all, back in August. So would you expect another tight game, similar sort of tight game? Well, we had a lot of play in the last game and uh, they hit us on a counter-attack. and there's one thing I know about the, the way Jim sets them up, they're very solid, they're very compact, um, they defend very, very well, And uh, but we've got to make sure we try our best to break that down. Yeah, another long trip, I guess you're used to them now, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> job as a manager now is not easy. I've been saying to the players this week, uh, mentally you have to be bold, <laughs> really bold, and uh, I think one or two of them laughed at me, And uh, but it's not bold as in the, the jobs made me bold I just think because this is shaver this is shaver management's not made me bold so uh, yeah we've had a we've had a laughing joke about it because you have to be strong and uh, you know that's one thing I've seen from the group is that they've been very resilient and strong this week
Yeah, and, and just another word on, on Morecambe with their off-field issues. Do you think that will has been affecting them on the field? Do you think they've put that behind them? Well, you, you've just said that they've got a real good run of form, so obviously it hasn't. And uh, you know they've done very well. I know they lost to Blackpool, but mm. I'm sure he'll try and make sure that he does, can do everything that he can to to gain as much points as as, as the way we are. Yeah, and a win from a Yeovil point of view, just the tonic you need, really, isn't it? That would just be a you know a kickstart, wouldn't it, for for the remainder of the season? Well, we want to win every game, so it's important that we we focus on our performance. And uh, again, we've been away from home now. We, as, as you know, we played Notts County, which was a very difficult game. So we know what an away performance it, it takes to come back with points. And uh, you know, as I said to you before, the group have remained positive, and uh, we make sure we keep going. Yeah, and just just finally about the uh, the squad injury wise, how are they looking for the weekend? Yeah, looking good. Um, obviously, Smithy uh, is close. Otis is close, and uh, you know, Wardy, um, we're still waiting for the specialist.